Hello everybody, today I'll be walking you through the incredibly simple steps in order to fix your Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition game so that you can play on Windows 10 and Windows 8. This fix is incredibly easy and should only take a short amount of time, so here we go. So if you aren't already aware of this, if you play Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition as it comes installed, it will not work. So first of all, it will detect your video hardware quality and then set the graphics to what your uh, graphics card should or can handle for this game. Mine was set for high quality, yours might be set differently. Uh, mine will change by the end of the video as well. But then it will pop up saying, this app might not work correctly, Fallout 3 isn't compatible with this version of Windows Learn More. So we aren't going to have to learn more, I'll just tell you that uh, Fallout 3 is set to work for Windows 7 and older versions of Windows. So if we try to play right now, I've already done two things to make this, or to get it this far. I've set it to run for administrator. And I've set it to run Windows XP Service Pack 3. I'll show you how to do this in a moment. And it will get you this far. It will get you Fallout3.exe system error. The program cannot start because XLive DLL is missing from your computer. Try reinstalling the program to fix this problem. Okay. So, from here, we want to right click on Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition and click Properties. And we want to go to Local Files. We want to browse Local Files. And then we want to go down to Fallout 3, the application. Here we click it, we press, or we right click it, and then we uh, press properties. Then we want to go to compatibility, and we want to run this program in compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 3. We also want to change settings for all users to run this program as an administrator, regardless of whether or not it's installed on every user's uh, Windows account for your computer. So from here, we're g it it'll get you as far as I showed you already. So from here we have to install Windows Live. So games for Windows Live Marketplace Client. So we're going to install this. I already have the installer downloaded. So all we're going to have to do real quick is actually install the program, which should take a grand total of maybe 30 seconds. All right, it's already finished installing. We're going to launch it just to finish in its installation. And there you have it. You're not going to need this for the rest of the entire installation process. So for those of you with NVIDIA graphics cards, you should be just fine playing the game now. Uh, those of you with Intel like me, it will get you this far, like, to the main menu. And then as soon as you try to play, your game will crash like this. Fallout 3 has stopped working. And then it will say a problem caused the pro program to stop working correctly. Windows will close the program and notify you if a solution is available. So Windows will never notify you if there's a solution available. I will tell you that right freaking now. So all you're going to have to do is you're going to have to download this nice little thing from nexusmods.com. And you're going to fo download Fallout 3 Intel Bypass Package. With this, it will come in a zip file and it will give you d3d9.dl that's all you're going to need out of this one so you want to go back to your fallout 3 game of the year edition uh section folder in your steam files so you which is typically under windows c program files 86 steam steam apps common and then Fallout 3 game of the year you're just going to drag d3d9dll to your file and that's it that's all you're going to have to do so those of you with intel this is all you're going to have to do in order to play Game of the Year Edition. So you see now it's changed my video hardware to medium. And now you can play the game in all of its aspects. There's nothing missing. And that's all you have to do in order to actually get into the game and play it. So I'm going to just show you now that it doesn't crash when you press continue or I'd like new. To have a chat. Here we are. Did you know or in a there are those warehouse for now. Your saves do not get lost. Uh, so I just want to say thank you guys for watching. If you want more simple fixes to games like this, comment which games and I will gladly look into it for you. Uh, I just want you guys to enjoy Fallout 3 and that is all.